Schroeder v. Macaulay, 1974. In the case of Schroeder v. Macaulay, 1974, the defendants, a Schroeder Music Publishing Co. Limited appealed against the decision of the Court of Appeal delivered in favor of the plaintiff songwriter, Mr. Tony Macaulay. The facts of the case can be summarized as follows. Entered a standard form agreement with the defendants, a Schroeder Music Publishing Co. Under the agreement, the defendant publishers obtained the exclusive benefit of the plaintiff's compositions. Also, according to the contract, the plaintiff assigned to the publishers the full copyright for the whole world in all his musical compositions during the term of the contract. The contract contained a clause pursuant to which the defendant publishers could terminate or assign the contract. However, the plaintiff could not do so. Further, the defendants were under no obligation to publish or promote anything. The plaintiff's songwriter brought an action, arguing that the contract was against public policy and therefore void. Whether the contract between the publishers and a songwriter was void? The House of Lords dismissed the defendant publisher's appeal and ruled that the contract between the parties was unduly restrictive and one-sided. First, the duration of the contract was to last for five years in any event and for ten years if the royalties, a sum paid to writers, for the first five years exceeded £5,000 such duration considered unduly prolonged. Second, the publishers had a right to assign the contract. So, it would be very unlikely for them to act against their self-interests. Third, the defendant publishers were not bound to publish or promote the songwriter's work if they chose not to do so. Fourth, the contract contained no provision entitling the songwriter to terminate the agreement. Thus, stemming from the above reasons, the House of Lords considered the contract void and upheld the decision of the Court of Appeal.